Chicago cop and Capitol riot can be called insurrectionists at trial. This is the case of Carol Chesnowick and his sister, Agnes Chesnowick. She's a Chicago... Uh, this guy, Carol, he's a... Uh, he was a Chicago police officer and he went down to the U.S. Capitol and man, he was... Uh, quite rowdy, quite rowdy. The only January 6th riot case against a Chicago police officer, the trial for Carol Chesnowick and his sister Agnes is moving is moving forward despite a court ruling that would allow them to be called insurrectionists. Oh man, he did not want to be called that. He did not want to be called that. And he turned down a plea deal from prosecutors. He thinks he can beat this charge. He thinks he can beat this charge. Him and his sister Agnes, they both got charged, baby. And he thinks he can beat this charge. Uh, even though the CPD, the CPD officer and his sister faced misdemeanor charges that they were illegally in the U.S. Capitol on January the 6th, the government has pressed for the right to say the Chesnowicks were involved in the in an insurrection that day. A judge has now agreed. Oh, man. So these insurrectionists, man, they, they, they are trying to beat these charges. These insurrectionists. Now, now I want you to notice how... You wasn't able to call, you know, the people who Kyle Rittenhouse shot victims. These people haven't been convicted yet. How come you can, you can call them insurrectionists? Because they weren't just talking to black folk, you see. They were talking to the white politicians, see. See, when it comes to people who, who lash out at the government or lash out at at the bastion of the government, you know, this, this U.S. government, oh boy. Oh, the penalties are always swift. The penalties are always swift. In a recent order, a D.C. judge overruled Chesnowick's objections to the use of the words insurrectionist and insurrection and will allow the prosecutors to use them during trial. Quote, words matter and they matter in a trial, end quote, former Chicago federal prosecutor and ABC7 legal analyst Gil Soffer said. Oh, man, that is beautiful to hear. Words do matter. Words matter. And, and, and this insurrectionist, man, he is in hot water. He said it makes sense that the defendants would fight to keep those words out of the court. I thought that the political right, I thought they liked free speech. I thought the political right liked free speech. Why are they against free speech? Make sure you guys are tapping the stream and giving me some likes. Make sure you guys get these likes up and make sure, make sure, make sure you share the stream. Share the stream with everybody that you know. But the question is, if if the right cares so much about free speech, why are they are they trying to get these words banned? Do you not care about free speech? Do you not care about the ability for people to say things that they want to say? I mean, if if you're not an insurrectionist, you're in court. Prove your case. Uh, Carol Chesnowit and his sister Agnes. Stories like this, I'm in love with. Because like Blue Lives Matter says, we have to make sure these criminals, these, these, these hardcore criminals, know what it means to break the law. And this criminal here, this these two criminals here, these these. Oh, I mean, me sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Make sure I get the word right. Highlight it. Insurrectionists. These insurrectionists. They need to know their crimes will go punished. Will, will not go unpunished. They will be punished for their crimes. All right. 